Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew and today we're going to go over how to install a WordPress website on oneonone.com. So let's get started. So once you're inside of your domain details, you're going to want to click on the where it says destination or you click use your domain. And then here is all the options for what you can do. You can do your DNS, connect a website, forward domain, a bunch of other options. But what we're gonna use is create website. And then here are your different options that you can use. So you can use their little setup, WordPress, or you can select another application. But what we're gonna be using is WordPress. So we'll go ahead and click get started. And then here's where you will name your website. So you'll give it a title. All right, so once you get your title in there, go ahead and hit create website. And then this is where you will enter in your default administration information. So I would not use just admin or administrator. I would do something different. So that way it's a little harder to guess it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my information here. And then you can go ahead and hit agree once you read their terms and continue. And then you'll go come to this page where they have their WordPress manager or you can pretty much manage it yourself like you would from any other domain site. So you can go ahead and read what the differences are here if you want. But we're gonna use just the normal manage it yourself because then you can control when it does updates and all that fun stuff. So we'll continue with WordPress. And then that will bring you to this page right here that says we are now setting up your website. Please wait a moment. It'll kind of do its little loading down here. And then once it's finished, you'll get congratulations, your website is online. You can now create your website. Then you'll see here, you got your domain address, it was installed, your name, and then all these other details. So then what you can do is you can go ahead and click edit website right here. And that will go ahead and take you straight to your login page. The, the other option is if you just do wp-admin, so up here at the top, you'll, it'll be whatever your domain is, wp-admin will get you to the same exact page. So you can go ahead and log in with whatever the details were that you entered in earlier. From here, you have two options. You have, you can use their options, which will kind of go through some quick little steps to get everything set up, or you can just do it yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself because I've done this many times. So now we're here on the main page. And if you come up here to your domain, you right click, new tab, open new tab, you'll see it is live. There's stuff on here. Of course, it doesn't look very good right now, but that's where your editing will come in handy. So the one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do um, is if you come in here to general, so you'll have your site title, your tagline. So the tagline, well, you can set it to whatever you want. And then you have your website URL. So you wanna make sure those are both the same. Your email address, this will be whatever email address is for admin purposes. If you want any membership registering, which we're not gonna have any for now, so we'll leave that alone. The roles don't matter because we're not doing the top one. And then your time zone. So I would set this to whatever time zone you're in. That way when you publish, when you set publishings, it will publish to the correct time zone. So we're gonna set ours. And then we got your date format, time format, and when your date, your week starts. And then from there, you can go ahead and go into your posts and start creating new posts if you want or pages if you want to create new pages for your home pages and all that fun stuff. The other thing you might want to do is if you come over to users, all users, um, I would probably add at least one additional administrator just in case you lock yourself out, you will be able to get back in for whatever reason without completely resetting your domain. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you had any questions, be sure to leave us a comment down below. And while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon. Leave us a like and we will see you next time.